morning lovelies. I hope we're all shining, thriving and giving ourselves some love today. I'm coming at you today with a brunch vlog slash come along with me for the day. I was meant to be going to Preston with my mum to this amazing brunch place I have been seeing on Instagram. But unfortunately something's happened with her dog and it's had to go into the vet. So we're going to stay local. We're just going to go for a nice brunch in Lither. Also, how cute is this jumper I've got? It's like a cardigan with like a bralette set. And I'm feeling it. I'm loving it. So that's what we're wearing today with just some black jeans and obviously my black bag. But yes, we'll head off now because I'm meant to be meeting her in like five minutes and getting parked in Lytham at this time is such a faff. Tom's working today, so just spending some time with my mum and getting jobs done around the house kind of day. Come with me. I love taking you everywhere with me. I will try and vlog the most I can because I know sometimes I get busy doing stuff and I forget to pick up the camera. So the aim is to do more of that today. All right, guys, let's get cracking because mum will be waiting in and we don't want to keep her waiting especially after her morning bless her with her dog and everything let's get going delicious and definitely worth going. It was so lovely to see my mum and catch up with her and kind of reassure her about her dog. We'll hopefully hear back about it. I think you've seen the dog on the videos. Her name's Bella and she's beautiful and to me and my mum, our dogs are all everything so we get really sad if anything happens. Hopefully I'll hear back from her later today. But now I've got a free day with no moon, no husband. I'm not really sure what to do. I might do some baking and you guys can bake with me. I actually saw someone share on Instagram the other day this amazing brown recipe. So I might have to give that a go. And then of course, my banana bread because I feel like my mum needs my banana bread in her life right now. I'm also going to either go for a run or do a workout so you can come do that with me as well and I'm going to speak to my sister at lunchtime because she gets married in April and I'm so excited about it. We'll carry on with the day and yeah just come along with me. I do this a lot. I'm just like come along with me. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Normally I have an idea of what I'm going to do but today I have no clue. The world is my oyster. Got all my baking stuff ready for the bake off to commence. If you are like me, when you bake, you make the biggest mess. So I can't really be bothered starting because I know the kitchen is going to be like pff, full of flour and chocolate and everything. But I'm going to crack on. So I think we're going to try and make today, definitely make some banana bread for my mum. Maybe try and make some biscoffy brownies mm. and some blueberry cookies, which I haven't made for years, but I made them like five years ago and they were the bomb. So we might try again to make them. And then when I'm finished, maybe it'll be workout time. I'm feeling pretty full after that breakfast, so I don't think I'll need food for a while. <laughs> cooking away. I'm going to check it in 20 minutes. It says 25 to 30 minutes but our oven is quite powerful so I'm going to check it then. And now ooh, cookies or banana bread? Which one next?
goes in for 15 minutes uncovered and then 15 minutes covered with tin foil. So I've got five minutes left on the brownies before I check them and then I'll put a 10 minute reminder on to cover the banana bread. The lighting's not the best, but I've just taken this out of the oven. It looks beautiful and golden. So I just kind of need to see if it's cooked in the inside. Here's a fork. Perfect, nothing on the fork. I'm gonna let that cool and then we'll see. Just come out of the oven 10 minutes was perfect for them they look delicious like mm, mm, mm. time to do the rest and get them in i've put the banana bread in for another five minutes just to make sure it's done but yeah i'm super happy with how things are turning out so far not that it matters but when i do bake i do tie my hair back it doesn't matter because you guys aren't eating them anyway but no one wants hair in their baking so i do try and tie my hair back and i always always wash my hands it's so important to just wash your hands especially when you're making different bits because it just makes sense the rest of the cookies are cooking in the oven this is cooling off and i just i'm gonna start cutting it soon i think it's it's cooled down quite a bit and then this has just come out of the oven but i don't want it to sink so i'm gonna leave it covered for a bit longer and then i will take that out to cool Trumpet. I'm really happy with how these bakes are turning out. Now for the most unenjoyable part and Tom will say I'm quite a messy cook, quite a messy baker but he says this and he won't clean up so I don't know why he complains because he does none of the cooking or the baking and none of the cleaning. So if I make a mess I've only got myself to blame. This is the state of the kitchen now. But we, we're gonna tidy it, we're gonna clean it, it's gonna be fine. While I'm cleaning up, I feel like one of these cookies need to be tasted. Um, um, when you get that blueberry, mm, 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 so good. <laughs> oh my God. Tom's gonna be so happy you're marrying me. <laughs> Might not look good in the bedroom after these, but I can cook, so it's fine. Surely it'll keep me around. <laughs> oh my God. Right, look at that floor. Call me Mary Berry. Just call it me now. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> I needed this today. I didn't know how much I needed it until I did it. Are you ready? One, two, three. Voila! All clean. Took longer than I thought. But I'm ready to cut into these now and see what they're like. Mmm, yes please. Three bakes from myself. We've got gluten-free banana bread, gluten-free blueberry oat cookies, and then we have a gluten-free biscoffy brownie. I actually nicked this recipe off someone off Instagram, but changed, they did peanut butter, and I changed it to biscoffy spread, and they used olive oil spread, and I didn't want to use that, so I completely took it out, just added a splash of olive oil, and they've come out really nicely. Baking complete! Tick! I am so happy with how those bakes turned out, because sometimes you can bake all day and not get even one recipe right. I'm gonna do some exercise. My plan was to go for a run because it's such a beautiful day. I've not got moon so I can actually go for a run and the sun will be setting and I feel like, oh, it'll just give me all the feels. But unfortunately, not to give you too much information, but my IBS has kicked off so I don't really feel like I wanna go for a run outside just in case, you know, your girl needs to hurry home. I'm gonna get changed now and then we'll do a little workout together. And just like that, I am ready for a workout. I'm wearing my Do You Even leggings in the dark blue and a hustle made sports bra. I never normally wear a white sports bra, so this is a bit different for me. I am feeling actually a bit fluffy this week. Last week when I was on my period, I felt a lot leaner and a lot stronger, and now I'm off my period, I feel super bloated, 
really fluffy and quite weak on my workouts. Anyway, I'm hoping that if I stick with it, it'll get easier and better. Just got to fight through this week. And I'm also thinking, guys, I need to start eating a bit more healthier. The food log's been great, but I can see where I'm going wrong. So like last night I had Domino's. Oh, it's not gonna get me to my goals. And I've had like so many lint chocolate eggs and I try and tell myself that it's fine because I mean, it's just one a day, but it's not like fruit and veg. You don't need a lint ball, girl, every day. Like, you don't, okay? I'm about to get quite strict with myself, I feel like a bit stricter because I'm not gonna reach my goals if I keep messing about and just not giving it my all. So yeah, we're gonna go for it. Oh, the sun, the sun has just come out, girl. It's giving me that glow, hey honey. That sun hits, it just gives you a new glow. I can't wait for spring because I just love sunshine, I love summer, and yeah, when you suffer with sad, seasonal depression is not the one. But we move, so I'm really excited for spring, and also, I'm sick of using ring lights, I'm sick of using lights or standing by windows, like, the sun just does it for me, and I don't have to constantly be like, oh, we're moving here, we're moving there. Like, oh, guys, I'm just loving the sun. I could stand it all day. Right, let's hit this workout. It is now dark. There is the moon. I did a 30 minute one, and normally I only do 20 mins, but Fit X Kendall, who does Peloton, has the best playlist on her latest 30 minute 2000s workout, so I had to do it, and it was amazing, but the sweat is real, but the good vibes, the endorphins, they're all flowing and I feel good. I'm trying to hit five workouts a week. I can't tell you guys, once you've been so poorly and it takes away your freedom of what you wanna do and how you wanna move your body, it is crazy the amount of appreciation you have for your body, for your health, for your life after an illness like that. Taking it all in, appreciating my body, appreciating myself for showing up today. And yeah, just, I love working out. I know probably people are watching this and like, you're crazy, how can you love exercise? But I generally do. We all like different things, but exercise for me, it's like my fave. Just makes me feel good from the inside out and that's why I do it. I do it for my, I used to just do it for my brain. I used to just do it for my mind working out, but now I do it for my body. I do it for my overall health and just because I love myself and I deserve that love. Anyway, we're gonna start rambling. God, it's like a little motivational speech over here. Who does she think she is? I'm gonna cool these legs down and then decide if we do a bit of a workout or we call it a day. in my cozies. I'm gonna go downstairs and cook and Moon is gonna get a treaty finally. Dinner is served, risotto and of course a wedge of parmesan. I customized this recipe a little bit. I added some spinach and um, I added some extra bacon and I added a bit more risotto because we're both hungry people after dinner snacks, because it'd be rude not to after I've baked and slaved all day. Moon wants some, but she's not allowed. So we've got the blueberry cookie and I've got a banana slice. I've cut it in half just so it's easier to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this video here. I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me. It's been so nice to have you along with me, especially because I've been on my own today. So I love having the company and just being able to chat to you guys. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell if you like what you see. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm very present on there as well. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've been subscribed for a while, it means the absolute world. And if you're new here, welcome to the weirdness. Come join me. <laughs> Have a wonderful week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.